Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John. This is Video True Dad, and welcome to Outer Wilds, a game which has managed to slightly sneak up on me because uh, I'm going to be honest. Every time I saw any mention of this in upcoming previews, I got it confused with the Outer Worlds, Obsidian's upcoming RPG thing out in 2019, because that's also a sci-fi game with a colourful, stylized, almost cartoony look to it that has a very similar title that's also mostly written in orange. So I'd completely missed that this was a totally unrelated game. I just thought this and the Outer Worlds were the same thing. But no, no they're not. And then this came out, and it got some really good reviews. And it's a sci-fi game which, as I understand, has something to do with time loops, and that just sounds like all my sort of thing. So, screw it. I've no idea what this actually is, aside from not being the Outer Worlds, but Let's dive in, we'll figure it out. And we begin in a forest with uh, something rather dramatic going on overhead. Uh, big old tower, person right here. Hello, who are you and what's going on here? There's our pilot, back from your pre-launch camp out under the stars I see. Uh, so it's launch day, eh? Seems like only yesterday you joined the space program and suddenly here you are, leaving on your first solo voyage. Uh, what do you say, ready to get this beauty off the ground? Um, I'm not sure actually. Should I actually have a little Luxy round first? Oh, you've got marshmallows. Could we toast some marshmallows together? I've literally never done that in my life, so it's not really a British thing, but I'd like to do it at least once. Ah, good. I need to actually get the launch codes from the observatory first. Fine, so I'm guessing we're just tutorializing basic controls. So, alright. Apparently, we've decided to just go out camping and also launch a space expedition. That's nice. Ooh, and it turns out I'm an alien too, possibly the same sort of alien as this guy, because, uh, hang on. Yeah, I've got, like, spotty hands. Do you have spotty hands? You might do, but if you do, you seem to be embarrassed by them because you're wearing fingerless gloves. Right, I'll go find the observatory or something. Also, apparently this thing over here is what needs the launch codes. I really hope this isn't my rocket. Have we actually been into space with this thing before? Because I'm not a rocket scientist or anything, but... I feel like that's not gonna fly. Like, figuratively and literally. Right, jumpy jump, okay. So just learn the basics here. We can indeed jump, and uh, either gravity's low or I'm very good at jumping. And hello, we've got a rather lovely score going on here. And a solar system where everything's just cycling around. That's lovely. Hello there, Mika. And aren't you going up into space? Yes, yes I am. But if you'd actually like to show me how to actually space, That'd be marvellous. I guess I could help you out a little. Try to land on one of the pools, show me what you've got. Okay, so we've got ourselves, ooh, space tutorial. So fly a model ship down over to there, marvellous. So horizontal thrust, gotcha, and up and down. Fine, that doesn't seem too bad. Oh, 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 okay, now, now no, no. Okay, flip it back over, flip it, flip it, flip it back. Yep, yeah, no, no, yes, 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 and job done. Now, be a little bit careful here, because, yeah, sometimes you do slightly fall over. Okay, so that's all good, and this is the, hang on, there's the, oh, hang on, do I, oh, hang on, there's, yeah, you've got to actually adjust for the fact that it's not facing the same way as you are. Okay, you know what? I have managed to land it on the thing. Right, so I get what we're doing now. Thank you for the tutorial. Also, I just love that massive shadows just pass overhead at various points. Okay, I'm loving the score here. It's all a bit Life is Strange, actually. This is not what I was expecting from a sci-fi game, but here we are. Also, I do like how there's genuine orbiting going on. Occasionally, we're just thrown into shadow by something just passing in front of the sun. Oh, and this is fun. So there's currently a satellite just basically orbiting our tiny, tiny planet. Because, yeah, the planets are really, really small. So orbiting Timber Half, which is apparently the name of our little world. So uh, two onboard cameras. See if you can take a snapshot of our village. So uh, every time I take a snapshot, that's actually effectively, yes, yeah, stop motion of uh, us. And that's... that'll be us, right? Though, yeah, if I just keep hammering this button... I can see what else is actually on this planet. So that was us, because that was the observatory. On the far side, though, there's some ruins or something. Yeah, there we are. Great big hole with some ruins. Uh, and then what well, looks like a massive mountain. So, yeah, we actually get to see what's going on. If I hit it fast enough, yeah, I'm basically just creating a stop-motion animation. <laughs> That's really cool. But, yeah, let's actually wait for that. There we go. That's actually a nice little photo right there. So that will be ours. Beautiful. Oh, sorry. Now it's night. I spent the entire day doing that. Sorry, my mistake. 
And yeah, from here I can see the little launch tower. There's the launch platform there. So that little kind of glowy thing would be my ship. Beautiful. But other than that... Yeah, there's a big thing up there. Right, I'm guessing whoever gives me the launch code is actually going to be located up there. Or need something from up there anyway. And I've also got myself a signal scope. So, change frequency to ventures or hide and seek on this occasion. And it just starts playing music when you're pointing in the right direction. Okay, I see what we're doing here. So, on this occasion, yeah, I'm just basically hunting down some people I'm playing hide and seek with. So I see you over there and... Okay, I may have slightly, slightly got the signal seeker wet. I tell you what, better bet, just drop down from above. That's definitely easier. So, hello over there. So you have been found. Your hiding spot was good. Yeah, okay, the thing is, you were hiding with a radio and I have a magic signal seeker for that. So this was never going to go great for you. Ah, but as for Outer Wild Ventures, uh, right... So, uh, 21,000 meters in that direction. You want me to go over there and explore that? Right, well, we'll do that at some point. Gotcha, now I know where I'm going. So as this guy just helpfully indicated to me, yeah, what you point at, it produces different music. Everything can be listened to. And it just plays music. Okay. What about, say, the sun? Does the sun? No, the sun doesn't play any music. But something is producing music over on that world over there. So that moon produces a whistling noise. Which I assume is someone who actually lives on that moon. Just 600 metres away. So uh, that's extremely close by. And over there, somebody's playing a banjo on that world. But if the two places actually happen to pass by each other... You hear both simultaneously. Okay, that's really cool. And apparently there's something bad and invisible inside this little area over here. There we go. Hello, you've got yourselves uh, invisible ice stuff. Which is apparently bad. So, okay. If I just nip in here for a second, am I actually allowed to... Oh, oh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, definitely shouldn't have gone in there. Right, so, invisible ice stuff... Use camera to see. Also, we've got a zero G cave. Well, that's just awesome. Right, into the zero G cave, and now, hang on, thrusting up, and then. This is not zero G. G blatantly just pulled me back down again. Gravity is. Yeah, there's gravity in the zero G cave. Sure, it's only 0.4, but it's there. This cave has been terribly misnamed. Ah, this is more like it. Gravity 0, 0.0. So. Little satellite in here, or mining thing. Gotta do some repairs, and also, ooh, I can now do rolling, gotcha. So, thing, lock on to thing, and hold A to match its velocity. Okay, that's rather bloody useful if I want to come to a stop once I've locked on to something. So over here, hold on to velocity. How do we, uh oh, hold, yep, match, match, match. Right, fix. So, okay. I see what we got here. Oh, bloody hell, right up and down, banged my head a bit. That looks like that's broken over there. Does that need fixing? No, it's going to be the sparking stuff. Gotcha. So over to that, approach it, and then once you get nice and close, yeah, just actually remember, now momentum will never come to a stop. One more that needs to be done. Up and around. Sparky thing, sparky thing, sparky thing. Come on, sparky thing. Where's the sparky thing? Ah, I'm going to guess it's going to be inside. And hang on here. Hang on. Yep. Thought so. So just loop around here. In we go into the middle of this thing. Lock on. Match speed. Repair. And watch your fuel as well. Lovely. Right, I think I now know how to space. Let's get out into space and space the space. Right, loot my way past all the tutorials and introductions. Uh, let's go find myself someone who works in the observatory who can give me the codes. But first, I suspect we've got some more backstory here. Ah, uh, yes, Hornfell's Ghost and Slate and Feldspar. Now, Slate we ran into downstairs, and Hornfell's we're looking for right now. Fine, so these are the first people who went into space. Despite, you know, their ship being made out of wood. So, well done to those guys. And somewhere on our nearest moon, there is a flag. Alright, I probably want to go and find that at some point or another. 
And also to keep an eye out, out there, the Nomai, precursor race, three eyes rather than R4. So, yeah, watch out for them. Also, Lara Fur, Jewelry, Antlers. Right, watch out for all that. And when I run into their writing, I can translate it. Beautiful. So according to the museum, this thing here lives out in space. I have decided I'm not going to space anymore. No, space is fine, actually. We're just good not knowing what's going on in space. Let's just leave space alone. Also, I'm not sure if this is actually real science you can actually set up at an experiment here, but... Yeah, this experiment claims three balls move on their own, despite the fact the ground is perfectly level. So the cause is the gravity of the moon pulling them in different directions. Now, the moon definitely does have gravity, because of course that's what causes tides, but I don't know whether that's actually true, whether small metal balls in a perfectly level plane could actually be influenced by the moon, or if the gravity is too weak to actually do that, but yeah... In this game, that's a thing. That's really cool. Also, this side room is really damn creepy. So, uh, yeah, there's a rock over here. So, we'll just actually look over here. And now it's over there. All right. And now we just turn away. And now it's back over there again. So, what we're going to do now is we're just going to uh, turn our back. And now it's moved over there. Right. Okay. I don't like you. You're weird. Well, there we go. I feel like we're actually learning something from this game. That's lovely. There's a little, ooh, an actual little map of the solar system. Love it. Ooh, hello. Right, we're just nipping out into space, are we? Right, well, screw this whole business going out into space. We can just do it remotely. That's marvellous. And hello. Why, precisely, is there a glowy thing right there? What's the glowy thing? And why is there something next to it? Ooh, I don't trust that. Also... Yeah, the dark bramble, that's where the space anglerfish are. So let's never go there. Giant's Deep, someone mentioned that to me, the fisherman, saying, yeah, there's something underneath it. Hourglass Twins, they produce nice music. So maybe I'll just go there first. That seems like a good idea. And there's the moon that was mentioned. Right, so, stuff I probably want to explore on this planet, stuff I want to go and check out on the moon, like the flag on the moon. The sun, probably don't want to go into that, but then again... There is something actually very close by to the sun, just orbiting it. I probably shouldn't go and check that out. That feels like a bad idea. Anyway, give me the codes. I want to go fly my ship into the sun, please. Hello. Um, so, can't help but notice that... Right, that's... Ooh, that's, that's literally everything I've seen. Yes, you just actually replayed my entire game. That was all the stuff I did. Okay, the statue just stole my thoughts. Um... Should I be concerned about that? But yeah, that's definitely the stuff I did. Going into the cave, looking around with my little signal scope, all of that good stuff. Right. Guess we better make it back to the tower then. And also, yeah, the statue just stole my brain. And apparently I'm the first person that's ever happened to, so that's a concern. And one of the other founding members of the space program has nipped over to Giant Deep, so he might be able to give me some answers. Aha. And as for the fourth person we saw in that portrait... They went into space, but never came back. So, two people on this planet, one who's over on Giant Steep, one missing and unaccounted for. Gotcha. Speaking of which, there's Slate right there, so he seems like he's the engineering sort from his little blast mask right there. I guess we're going to be off into space then. Bye, Slate! There was a weird I kind of don't want to go. I kind of just want to stay here, because this place is just, you know... Lovely. And there's lots of cool stuff here, and it's just a wonderful place with a nice score. Yeah, well done setting up a tutorial area game. I actually feel genuinely sad I have to leave it. Still, space, here we flipping go. Ah, now this is cute. As I hear about things, I can actually check my log and be reminded what I've already been told about here. So yeah, Gabbro's actually gone over to Giant's Deep at some point. And I've even got a nice little star chart here just in case. And aha, that's what the thing at the edge is, the interloper. And here's my space suit. Don't forget to put that on before I go out into space. There's my glowy crystal. That makes the ship go vroom. Anything else I need to know? Ah, oxygen refill. Spot a tree, walk towards it. Bloody useful trees. Right, let's flip in do this. So here we go. Buckle up and uh, do I just need to buckle up? I'm not sure whether I do or not. Okay, lift off. Aha! I've actually got myself a little landing camera. Oh, this is really cool. Right, okay. Screw it. Lift off. And away we go. And here we go. Ah, okay. So, is there any third person camera? 
Because if there's not, that's that's going to be a problem. Oh, hang on, what's what's that? The scout launch. Okay, launch scout. I I don't know what that is. Oh, I've just launched. Ow! Ow! Okay, I'm I'm sorry. I didn't realise there was still. All right, so exit ship to repair. I should probably I should probably do that. Okay, so um slight problems on day one. Which bit did I just actually manage to dent a bit? I'm so sorry, I very almost hit you. Yeah, I see the bit I actually managed to dent there. Okay, we'll sort that out, don't worry. Luckily, I can just hold X against that. Right, so I fixed the ship. Okay, so, um, not the best trip there. Slight issues. Okay, this time, just slightly, slightly edges away from the thing that's directly above us. Okay, can I just thrust up at this point, ideally without hitting anything? Okay, oh, oh, okay, may have slightly damaged something. That's fine. I also decided to send my scout out. Not quite sure why I decided to actually send my scout out, but it did. So, okay, oh, oh, okay. Right, so now, now I'm looking down. Okay, which means, yeah, if I want to actually... Oh, that's better. Now I can use my rear and... Oh, oh, we're in space. We're in... Okay, space rules are applying. Okay, how do I, how do I actually... How do I rotate at this point? How do I... Ah, okay. Right, okay. I'm, I'm under control. Everything's fine. Everything's okay. All right. So, this here is the planet that we live on. So, what I'd like to do is go and find something to... Oh, I'm, I think I'm actually... Oh, there's the moon. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Right. So, um, just need to figure out where I am. Where are those ruins? I saw some really nice ruins. I wouldn't mind actually trying to land on them. So... Yeah, hang on. If there was the yeah, if there was the mountain here, I need to change my orbit to over here, and then oh yeah, go up a little bit, go up a little bit, and now just pull, pull away, pull away, pull away, and now just no, slow, slow it, slow it, slow it, slow, slow, slow. There we go. Slow it down. Slow it down. There we go. Okay, slow, slow, slow. All right, equipped scout launcher. Okay, the scout is okay. Can I retrieve the scout, please? There we go. Oh, I, I accidentally sent the thing. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Okay, don't, don't panic. Don't panic here. Uh, just slow it down, 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 slow it down. Oh, up, 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 up. Okay, cancel, 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 cancel. No, retrieve the scout. Ah! Okay, I think we've... I think we've landed without exploding, right? Good, we have. Also, I forgot to put on my space suit, but on this occasion, I'm not dead because I'm still on my home planet. Right, so these are the ruins I saw from space earlier, but I've got that little translation thingy with me. See, I saw these before, and they actually do... they do glow. So, okay, glowy thing. More glowy things. Nothing I can translate as far as I can see. So, yeah, we'll just actually follow the path here. Bunch of archers, and then these lead through to... Uh, this isn't... No, this isn't actually my bit of space. Oh, hang on. If I drop down here... Right, be careful, because I don't know how I... Ow! I don't know how I get out again afterwards, and... How far can I jump? Just in theory. I'm not sure I can jump that far. Right, I'm going to go get my suit anyway, because my suit's got thrusters in it. So, arguably, I should probably just keep that on all the time. Here we go. Now, now I've got myself jet power. Boom. Good, good, good. So, hang on. If I just jump and then... That doesn't seem to do me much good when I'm actually not in zero gravity, unfortunately. Maybe a little bit and... Jump and boost! Oh, just... Okay, that was just enough. So, I've now got across here... There was no purpose in me getting across here, but I did it, alright? So I'm quite proud of myself. I don't know if I'll be able to clear this jump, but I'll give it a go and... Go! Come on! Oh, bloody hell! Right, the jet boosters are more powerful than I thought they were going to be. Right, okay. I was definitely able to make that. And now... Oh, now I've found the secret waterfall cave. And I'm playing a video game. So behind the waterfall, there's always going to be something amazing. Right, hello. Door. Glowy door thing. Yes. Ooh. Okay. It's responding to lights. And ooh. Secret cave. Secret cave, yes. Down into the secret cave. I'm awesome and... 
I'm just going to keep the lights on, actually. Oh, hello! Right! I haven't even left my planet and I found some mysterious things going. Oh! No, that's fine. That's 100% fine. We've got one of those in the village. It's not a problem. Now, the problem is, gravity's still at... Yeah, that's still at, um, one. So that's a bit on the much side. Okay, get across here. And then prepare to jump. Oh, oh, uh oh, oh. Oh, the, wait, what? The zero, gravity zero. Okay, so gravity zero in here. And when we say gravity zero, do we mean because of the water? Or do we mean because, hang on. J j j boost, boost. If gravity zero, I should be able to, what the, whoa, whoa, right, ow. Okay, ouch. Okay, so basically fire, fire boosters, ow. Okay, so, there's there's some gravity in here. There's definitely some gravity going on in here. What on earth is all of this? Here we go. So if I just boost my way into the woobly thing, then the woobly thing wooblies me upwards to... Oh, hello. That's... No, that was me. That was me, and I think I accidentally just got my way out of accidentally. Ow, this is really going to hurt when I hit the bottom, isn't it? Right, back in again. I think once I get to the top, I'm supposed to be hopping out of, yes, over here. There we go. So that just takes me up to the top. Got myself some skeletons here. And I'm guessing that's a thing you want me to translate. Hello. Untranslated writing. Translate it, please. I'm still amazed by how much ore the Ash Twin project requires. The Ash Twins. Okay, hang on. There was, yes, the Hourglass Twins right here, who are fairly close by to the sun and appear to be, yes, Ash Twin. Right, Ember Twin, Ash Twin. So, okay, we inherited the names off them. Which is interesting, given apparently we've never translated the language before, but maybe we translated a bit of it or something. I don't know. We've got little glowy things here, but nothing I can do with those. Hello, pick up Ash Twin Projection Stone. I'll grab that, I suppose. Now, by any chance does that want to be put right there? Okay, oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. At this point, I'm just messing with technology I don't understand. Got it. And also, no, I can't pick up the Triforce, unfortunately. Uh, hop around over here. More Triforces. Nothing much. I think, actually, that might be pretty much what we've got in here. Because, yeah, this is where the elevator brought me. That was up to the top there. Then we just looped around here. Fine. So, another skeleton there. Another dead Nomai. Can I actually take this with me? I guess I may as... I mean, what does that do? It makes them do a little twist. Okay. Where else could I put that? Here we go. There's something over here. So what's that going to do now? Oh, It's going to draw a thing. Translate it, please. My gratitude for the latest shipment, Oino. This ore should be the last we'll need for the Ash Twin Project. So I'm guessing this was maybe their space program. But when you translate something, it spirals out to create more. This is exciting news. Can I offer an extra set of eyes for the final check? If my work here is complete, I'd be delighted to help. And then we'd be grateful if you would. The more eyes, the better, as the smallest opening in the shell that protects the core could lead to disaster. Okay, shell that protects the core. With a protective shell built, Raimi says she's ready to seal all entrances used during its construction. After all, she'll help inspect the barrier from the outside, our final safety check. Okay. So as a result of that, my ship's log has now been updated because I've found something new about that nearby planet. Oh, this is so cool. This is completely how you should do a sci-fi explorer adventure game. Just let us explore and figure stuff out. And actually, was there more? Yes, there was more here than I thought there was, because that was also spiraling off into new stuff. So, isn't this the ore for the remaining towers being built on Ash Twin? The completed towers I've seen are surprisingly big. And no, the material for those towers is all being taken from Ash Twin. The ore we're currently mining will be used to create a protective shell that will seal off Ash Twin's core. So the core of an entire planet. All this ore is being used for the shell. I hope they measured the shield's area and planned accordingly. And I thought you'd forbidden your apprentice from making puns. I'm 
didn't, how else would he improve? Hang on. And plan to... Oh, accordingly. Right, okay, I see where we're going with that. Ah, I see what's going on here. So yeah, they just used a bit of ore from this world because they wanted to make sure we had plenty of ore left over for our own space program in the future. Right, well, that's nice to know. Right, well, I think that's all we've got here. Should I actually take this thing with me? I don't know. I'm going to take it back to my ship and see if I can just take it with me. But yes, I now know how my jetpack works. So jump, boost, and then activate big rockets for loads of flipping fuel consumption. But it does sort everything out. So jump, boost, and big, big, big rockets. And now we're traveling at a bit too much speed. Job done. Right, so, I've got myself an artifact. Beautiful. So now in rumor mode, I now know something new. I actually already went to the mines, and they were used to construct a protective shell around the core of Ash Twin, and there used to be entrances in the protective shell surrounding Ash Twin, but they were completely sealed at the end of construction. Which means now, we know something was sealed away inside the core. Right, probably at this point then, time to go and try and get somewhere new, which is... Uh, Hang on, that's, yeah, that's actually the planet, then, hang on, what's, what's this one? What's this planet over here? Don't know what this one is, but that's not the one we want just yet, I don't know what that is, but it, it's there. Right, we want to go to the moon, lock onto the moon, don't try and land on a comet just yet, bad idea. We're going to go and try and make it to the moon, so the moon is on the far side of the planet from me, right now. So now I've actually done that, and, oh, there it is. And the comet is... No, do not try and land on a comet and your second time in space. Bad idea. Let's instead get out into space here. That'll all be fine and... Okay, so I need to get out into space and then... Ooh, hello. What's what's that? Hang on, I don't think that's what I actually want to be looking at. Um, oh, apparently I'm going quite far away from... Wait, what happened to the sun? Is it supposed to do this? I'm a little bit concerned the sun is suddenly giant and red. It was not giant and red. That's really bad, right? I mean, the sun was yellow a minute ago, and that means it's it's a lot older. It's become a red giant. That's... Oh, this might be the time thing. Is the sun currently exploding? Because if it is, that'll probably be bad. Right, lock on to the moon. No, not the, the planet, the moon. Lock on to the moon. There we go. Lock on to the moon. Now, give chase after the moon. Wait, can I catch up with the moon? I feel like potentially I can't actually. Right, okay, so boost to the... No, boost to this way. I might need to go and actually try and... There we go. We're now accelerating towards the moon. Right, okay. The moon is now 4,000 meters and closing. I'm a little bit concerned about the sun potentially exploding. We might want to keep it under. Uh-oh, okay, we're going too fast now. We're going to overshoot the moon. We're going to overshoot the cock. Right, okay. Um, Go, go up. Go up. And then we'll, we'll catch the moon next time. Right, go down, go down, go down, go down, go down. And now, match speed of moon. Alright, match speed of moon. We are now matching its velocity. So now we just gently bring ourselves in. Some people would call this colliding. I personally choose not to call it that. Okay, match velocity. Now, as long as we're matching... Okay, um... is it? Did something just bad happen to the... Yeah, I feel like something bad just happened to, um, to the sun over there, actually. Should we be concerned about this? Because I feel like the sun just exploded. And that's mildly concerning, actually. Right! So, that'll be the time limit then. Or was I supposed to actually, like, sort out the game in... Oh! The statue... Right, so I'm guessing now it's dawn of the first day again, and it's time for me to blast off a second time. Right, so yes, we are actually Majora's masking this business, but like, in space. So here we go. I've just woken up again, and ah, that's whatever it is, the interloper. It hit something. That's what happened the first time I ever woke up. So, hello Slate, and... Did I just die? Yes, what just happened? Uh, okay, so now I'm Groundhog Space Daying it. Gotcha. But I already know the launch codes. And uh, I already got them. I bet I just didn't. But I know them anyway. The stuff is potent. If you've got the codes. Okay. So now, 
now I can set off again immediately. Right, so I'm in a time loop where the sun is going to start off being lovely in yellow, then it's going to go into red dwarf, then it's going to go supernova, and then I reset. So I've got however long it is to basically solve the mystery. Now the question is, if I go into the ship right now, is everything I know still known to me? Yes, it is. So I maintain information. Okay, well this is, this is fascinating. Um... Over to the moon then, I suppose. I was trying to get there anyway. Actually, before I set off, maybe actually, you know, set a destination or whatever. Okay, so the sun is right now nice and yellow. Though, hang on. There's, there's a thing right there. There's, yeah, there's a thing right next to the sun. That's going to be the first thing that gets eaten, right? I mean, that's, that logically makes sense. Except, hang on, can I actually... I'm not sure I can actually get onto that. Okay, I'm going to go see if I can get this thing. Because that logically is going to get eaten first. So, screw the moon. We're going to the sun. But, it's safe for me to go to the sun right now. Because it's night. So, oh, bloody hell, the sun came up. Well, now I'm screwed. Right, okay. Let's go over to the sun. Because the sun logically isn't moving. The sun is, well, hang on. The sun does move, right? It's not a static object. But I'm still orbiting around it. So, there we go. That's, that's what I want over there. I need to try and get hold of that thing. Okay, back off, back off, back off, back off. Don't don't crash into the sun. What's this thing over there? In fact, you know, I should probably I should probably catch on Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Match velocity of sun. Match velocity of the sun. Match velocity of the The sun has quite strong gravity. Right. Don't fly into the sun. I mean, I should have known that was going to be a thing, to be honest. Like, they did that in Thunderbird. Get too close to the sun, you can't pull away. Not even Thunderbird 3 can manage it. Wait, how did Thunderbird 3 get out of that one? Ooh, that is a bit of a mystery. Okay, lesson learned. Do not fly into the sun. Not even at night. Just need to make a quick note of my log. Sun equals hot. Right, so, get myself... Oh, oh, I'm crashing again, I'm crashing again, I'm crashing again, I'm crashing again. Up, up, up. Here we go. Go to the Apple Rock, because I think we know someone lives on the Apple Rock, which is what we call the moon. So I need to get over there, and here we go. No, 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 no. Don't let it get away. Don't let it get away. Don't let it get away, and match speed versus... Okay, here we go. Just get a bit closer, and I think that might be... That might be it right there. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Okay, now, hang on. Now I need to go... Wait, I'm facing... No, I need to use my up and down thrusters because I'm facing it. So, okay, now just getting over here, getting over here, getting over here, getting over here. Now match, 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 match. Okay, now go into landing mode. Uh-oh. Oh, this is... Uh, uh. Okay, go, go, go. Right, a bit more forward, a bit more forward, a bit more forward. Uh! It's fine. Everything's under control. Right, okay, there's there's something right here, and... Good enough! So, unbuckle, and... Okay, this time, definitely wear suit. Guessing, no oxygen. So, down we go. Now, just check, is O2 actually going down at this point? And, yes, yes it is. So, be careful of that. So, uh, we found this here spaceship, and there's the interloper. Hello! It's an actual proper solar system. It's wonderful. And, okay, make sure we don't accidentally, like, you know, get lost. And make sure the sun doesn't explode and eat me. Like, you know, again. It's just a crash site. All right, fine. So we need to... We need to find something else here. We need to find something else. Uh, check the ship's log here. We need to potentially find... Yeah, some lunar ruins. I need to find some ruins. Right, okay. Prepare to lift off. But then once we've lifted off, don't get, like, too far off or anything. Oh. Okay, uh, we, we need to, we're slightly rotating right now. We're slightly, we're slightly rotating. Right, well, I see someone over there. Okay, well, that's, that's probably good. And I see, actually, that looks like the, the site of, oh, 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 uh, uh, yeah. Okay, so just land between this guy and, you know what, this spot right here, this'll do. And 10 miles now is, okay, it was a, it was a bit hard. Right, job done. Right, put everything away, unbuckle. Everything's good. My still in my space suit. Yeah, I'm still in the space suit. Right, okay. Unidentified signal nearby, and I've got myself, yeah, my thing. So I've got 
unknown 9,000 meters in that direction. I feel like there's got to be something a bit closer than that. Oh, there's the ruins. This is so cool. They're actually properly interacting with each other. Oh, have I just found the intro screen? Yes, I've actually found the intro screen. Right, hello there. You're Eska. I was told to check in on you, make sure you're fine. And the signal was indeed Eska himself. It's been a long time since I've seen anybody. Yeah, does anyone else just like, you know, pop up to the moon occasionally? The lunar outposts saw more traffic back when our ships were less sophisticated and needed more frequent repairs. These days, mostly used to keep a set of eyes on things. Right. So Chert comes to say hi. Gabbro is Gabbro. You know how Rybeck feels about unnecessary space flights. Now, any chance you actually know about, yeah, the ruins or something? So he doesn't know anything about the ruins, but there we go. He's whistling, which we heard with our little signal scope. I like that. That's very cool indeed. Right, so, don't know where the ruins are. There's the twins floating about. There's our little home planet. Very close by. <laughs> it's a small world after all. In fact, they're all pretty damn small worlds, all things considered. Right, so, we haven't actually found the ruins yet. And it feels like, hang on, any chance it was... Oh, oh, just, just, just use the boosters here. Oh, don't accidentally blast yourself into space, though. Bad idea. Oh, 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 okay, slightly overshot something. Eska's signal scope log. Day 48, still not picking up Rybeck's banjo from Brittle Hollow. Sure, they're fine. I'll feel better once I can hear the music. Listen to Chirp play for a while today. Unrelated, someone should tell Porphy and Gosen their flirting is not subtle from an aerial perspective. Banjo music coming in loud and clear. Sounds like Rybeck's doing okay. That oaf I was worried. And, ooh, I heard something strange. It's back again today. Something strange is coming from Timber Half. Okay, sounds like Feldspar's harmonica, but Feldspar disappeared in space ages ago. Intriguing. Hang on. So if I actually look over here... Yeah. Okay. That does indeed sound like a harmonica. And now we know what that is. It's apparently, yeah, someone who was thought to have been lost in space. Well, that's fascinating. Oh, the sun is definitely looking less yellow than it used to. Possibly now I'm actually out in the game, I don't have much time to actually, uh, you know, figure this out. I need to get everything done in 20 minutes, otherwise I explode. So, yeah, there's some music. And there's the banjo, fine. So, Rybeck is over there on that world. Okay, anything else we got in the sky? Not right now for the time being anyway. But I tell you what, now I know that there is a secret dead explorer somewhere on this planet. What can I figure out? So we got a signal from, yeah, nearby to that black plume of smoke. Alright, back in the ship. We're going to go check out that black plume of smoke, see if we can find anything. Right, up, 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 up. Where's the... Oh, I've lost my home planet. Hang on, hang on, hang on. There it is. Right, so... Is that actually where we live or not? I don't know, but... Oh. Well, there is what distinctly looks like, yeah, some form of, uh, you know, actual crash site right there. Is it possible somehow we just missed that there was a massive crash site on our own planet? Oh, ow, ow! I got the, um, the landing a bit off on that occasion. So, reactor damaged... Um, this is, this is fine. I'm just gonna quickly repair the reactor. That seems like the most important thing to, to repair. So, um, I must be vaguely close by to where I was planning to land. Here we go. Up here, there's, yeah, some black smoke. And this is... This is most definitely not... Oh. This isn't our village, no. Instead, I think I've just found a crash site, which apparently... No one ever did before. Right, uh, activate jetpack. Just to... Oh, and... Uh, 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 this is gonna hurt! Okay, I'm fine, and... Hello, there's... Oh. Um... So! That's... That's not great. And apparently this is a dark bramble seed, which does seem kind of bad and not the sort of thing you want on your planet. No, I'll have to get a look at what's inside the seed first, though. Don't want to set anybody to hacking up a potentially dangerous plant without a better idea of what's lurking inside. Tuff can help me haul the old scout launcher over here. Obviously, the opening's too small for someone to fit inside. Ah, I'm guessing we're going to find our old friend. Okay, 
So we need to, yeah, launch a scout thing in there. But apparently I've got that with me, so that's good. Scout launch. Alright, so now, take a snapshot. And... Okay. Keep taking some snapshots here. And... Yeah, so it's basically just going in there by itself. I see a bunch of planty things. Okay, uh, retrieve the scout at this point. Fire it in again, uh, but this time, yeah, get a better view as to what's going on. So it's a bunch of little things here, and I can look backwards too. I mean, logically, if the music's coming from in here, this thing ate what's-his-face at some points. The harmonica music is coming from inside here. I can shoot a scout inside, but I don't know what I'm actually really looking for here. Oh yeah, I'm on a time limit because the sun's about to explode. Sorry, I forgot about that. Right, I should probably get back to my ship and continue investigating something related to the sun exploding. Because, I'm going to be honest, the fact that our planet has a little bit of an infestation right now kind of doesn't actually matter because we're about to all be dead from the supernova. Oh yeah, the sun's looking really red and angry, right. Yeah, so at this point the little satellite that cycles the sun has already been eaten. The Hourglass Twins haven't been eaten yet, but I feel like they're coming up next. Ah, that's what's going on. The seed is like a little wormhole. So what I'm actually seeing is Dark Bramble itself. Right, well I'm guessing I've not got too long until the sun explodes, so I may as well nip over to the Ash Twin, just to actually do a bit of initial scouting there, because uh, something's clearly going on in that part of the world. And yeah, Ash Twin, that's the one I want. And oh, don't accidentally run into the other one. Ah, I'm having a bit of trouble following this thing because some of my actual engines aren't working right now because I did slightly crash my ship a minute ago. Right, I'm seeing the problem here, yes. Right, well, logically, Dark Bramble being a long way away, that's actually going to be, yeah, quite a significant distance away from... Oh, hang on, there's no... Match velocity, match velocity, ow! There we go, ship now operational, because I've actually travelled back in time. Beautiful. Right, now, over to Ash Twin. Now let's see how this autopilot does. So, autopilot, aligning flight trajectory, right, accelerating, firing retro rockets. Okay, I feel like hopefully the autopilot's going to do a much better job than me. That's lovely, except hang on. Now we've actually got ourselves... Oh, the autopilot just gets me close by. It doesn't actually, you know, do the hard bit or anything. Well, that's fine. I need to actually find, you know, an area... Oh, oh, hang on. No, 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 no. no. Match. Match velocity. Match velocity. Right. There's not actually much on Ash Twin by the Luke of it. I just need to... Yeah, hang on. I need to go this way because I need to land on, presumably... Whatever that is. Now match, 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 match. Okay, go, go a bit closer, go a bit closer, go a bit closer, go a bit closer, go a bit closer. Okay, go into landing mode. And whoop! Ow! Okay, that's, that's kind of close enough. So, I suspect I may have been supposed to actually land on top of this thing, but then I didn't. So that's all absolutely fine. So, up on top of you. Ah! This looks like a way out rather than a way in. Yeah, I'm going to be kicked out to that and... Ooh, hello. Right, so... So, 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 so. There didn't actually seem to be too much on this planet, to be honest. I wonder if I can actually jetpack directly between the two. Uh, that'd be kind of cool. Right, so... Uh, there's something weird going on on Ember Twin. And then... Yeah. Something going on around here. The question is, how do I actually get in? Because that's an exhaust pipe. I don't think I can actually, you know, use that to get down into the planet. So I need to orbit a bit to try and find a way in. But then again, wasn't there actually like a connection between the two or something? Hang about. Oh, hello. This looks rather good. Hang on. The gravity of the moons. This thing is being pulled further and further out right now. When it comes out to its greatest extent... Is it something I can actually use for something? Ooh, now this is interesting. But yeah, there's more. There's more over there. There's there's several of them. Okay, this isn't just one. 
this is a whole bunch of stuff. So that thing is now slowly being pulled out. Okay, so there's a whole collection of these things. And as time ticks by, they're just being pulled out of the sand, rock, whatever. Aha! Here we go. So this thing has now emerged enough that there is now a way in to get me back up top. So now I can skip back up to the top where I was already, but you can just get up here under any circumstances if you get here early enough during the cycle. Now speaking of the twin planet over there, yeah, 500 meters in that direction, on top of that thing, where there's the trail of smoke, there's music. And music typically means one of my friends. Also, how's my ship doing, by the way? Is my ship being a bit buffeted out of the way by this stuff emerging? Because, yeah, what's going on is... Oh, wait, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. These things aren't emerging from the planet. This planet is shrinking because it's literally being sucked into that other planet. Ember is literally absorbing ash... Right now. Oh, that's so cool. That is the coolest thing. But that's precisely what's happening. And that means at the end of time before the sun explodes, logically, we're going to actually have access to the core. Because the core's got to be revealed because everything else is being sucked away. Okay, now I see what's going on here. Yes. Logically at this point, if I actually... Yeah, zoom in. I can't zoom any further. Yeah, we're running out of... Ooh, hang on. Is there another one on the other side of the planet too? Right, it looks like there's actually... There's two and there might even be more stuff that's been revealed by the planet being sucked away here. There might be loads more stuff here now. Oh, yeah, there's tons of stuff that wasn't here just a minute ago. There's... There's this, whatever all of this is. Hang on. There's like an old observatory or something. But as time goes by, yeah, it's going to be harder and harder to get up to this because now all these old rock formations are going to be in the way. So, okay. We've got to say, oh, no, don't. Don't overshoot it. Right. Well, I found myself something important here, including weird cactus. And, oh, hang on. I'm directly in the path of it right now, aren't I? I'm directly in the path of the giant space hoover, which is good in some ways, bad in many others, including... Oh, hello. I feel like we should show an interest in this. That's kind of important. Right. Shine a light on these things because sometimes they respond to light. And if the giant space hoover comes by again, I need to be ready to react to it. And hello. This has got to be something I can do with this, right? And apparently, no, I can't translate that. Okay. Right. Where's the space hoover right now? Because... I feel like it was definitely doing a circuit that led it in this direction. Also, where does this... Where does this highway even go? I don't know. There's... Is there more? Is this maybe something we can... We can read or do something with? Hello over there. Yeah. I see... Something. But I'm not sure there's... Anything I can do with it. No, there's no signals coming off. It doesn't respond to light and... Right! Go! 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 Back to the inside of the room. We need to hide inside from the... Oh, I'm really worried about the space hoover. I'm going to hide inside and we're just going to see what happens next. Are we going to be good about this? And... Oh! oh ow! Ow! Where am I now? Am I on Ember? I think I might be on Ember, which would be kind of unfortunate. Still, I can translate this before I die... Departure time, arrival time. Ah! This was like a transport thing. Wait, where am I right now? I definitely think I'm on Ember because it's a different colour. Yeah, I'm on Ember. Yeah, I'm definitely on Ember. But there is... There is more stuff on Ember. Right, okay. There's some of these too. Seen some of you guys before. Gotcha. Problem is, my ship's now on a different planet and... I feel like this is about to hurt. But you know what? I'm not dead, so everything's fine. Right, just start translating some stuff. This door will need to remain closed for some time. Pi and I are running an experiment based on the extraordinary findings from the White Hole Station. Okay, ship log updated. Keep going on here. High energy lab. 
How would I open a door from a precursor race? I don't know. And also... Ooh. Can I launch the scout down there? Yes, I can. Now, any chance the scout can do... I don't think the scout can do translation. Bit of a shame, unfortunately. Right. How do I get inside? And also, there's no trees on this planet, are there? No. So I'm going to suffocate. Gotcha. Oh, yeah. The sun's exploding. That's a thing that's happening. And also, don't forget, plume of smoke. We know what plume of smoke means. Uh, yeah, that means one of my friends who might be able to tell me something about this planet before I die. And also, trees. That means oxygen. And that is good news. And sadly, I'm not getting anything intelligent out of him. He knows the stars are dying. He doesn't really know why. He's just very upset about it. Maybe because he's pretty much got, yeah, the front row seat. And because we found him, we've now identified what his signal is. Beautiful. So going forward. Ooh. Hello. There's a thing over here. Right, before we all die in the sun eats us, I may as well go check out the ruins that are apparently just around the corner. If I'm very lucky indeed, maybe I'll be able to actually explore them before, you know, we all die. Ah, except hang on. These ruins are being filled up by being... Aha! Okay, so as time goes by, ash is less and ember is more. Because this place would have been empty at the beginning of time, but now it's full at the end. I see. In which case, I've got to try and find a way of actually getting back over to Ash. Which at this point has been pretty much almost entirely sucked down to nothing. So, if I could get some... Oh, fuel's critical. Right. If I could get some good speed going on... Oh, hello. What's this, by the way? If I could get some speed going on... Could I actually manage to just jetpack my way over to this? Come on, I'm, oh, I'm almost out of fuel. I'm almost out of fuel, but I think I might be entering the gravity of Ember. I'm, I'm about to, I'm out of fuel. I've got no way of slowing down. Ow! Okay. So that was, that was unfortunate. Okay, and now I know what I'm doing. I'm on the clock immediately. Because right now, Ember is basically hollow. But it's not going to be for long. The matter is going to change sides from one space to the other. So in which case, get the suit on. Get into space. Take off as fast as possible, please. And yeah, just turn towards the sun. That's probably a good starting point. It's night. The sun's not here. Right, that's them over there. Okay, get over in that direction. We want to get over to Ember as fast as possible. And Ember Twin, what I want to do is I want to go and land next to that guy. I know roughly where he is because there's the little smoke trail from his camp. And yeah, right now this thing is just incredibly empty. So I need to get down there as fast as I can. Okay, where's where's this thing? There's his ship. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, bloody hell, bloody hell, bloody hell, bloody hell. This is actually not... Actually, this isn't bad. This isn't bad at all. This isn't bad at all. And that'll do... Yeah, actually, pretty much exactly what I wanted. Right, well, that was fortunate. The problem is I can't get over there right now because, oh, I need to actually land on top of it. That's going to be a bit on the tricky side. Uh, can I maybe just get over there? Okay, I'm just going to actually just hop over there with fuel. I've got plenty of fuel for now. I just need to leap around the outside. Try and preserve fuel. I might need it later, and I'm going to not have oxygen. Well, this is going to be interesting. Right, okay, so go and go. Go, go, through here, through here, and in we go. Ouch, bit of a bumpy landing, I'm fine. Now, logically, if I go through here, this cave which, ooh, here we go, an identified signal. Okay, let's just actually nip down over here, and cave shard, producing quantum fluctuations. Okay, this is the same sort of... This is the same sort of rock I saw back in the thing. The sort of rock that just sometimes exists and sometimes doesn't. So I'm not freaked out because I was expecting that. Friends, if you have any sign of Coleus, I implore you to tell me he vanished without a trace during our research trip and has been missing ever since. Okay. Somebody important. Keep checking more. He disappeared in the cave at the bottom of the dry lake bed at the North Pole. And it's happened an instant without warning. Alright, more information. I turned away from Coleus to examine a sample. When I turned back, he simply wasn't there anymore. He had a limited supply of air. I'm afraid for him. Aha! Uh -huh.
quantum something. Things appearing and disappearing. He might have got himself quantumed. We will learn more by examining the Northern Lake Bed Cave, where Coleus disappeared. Search quickly, we have no time to squander. Right, see if we can actually learn any more here. Coleus and I were studying the cave's geology. We hope to learn more about a unique and wandering rock that visits several different caves. Aha! So you don't just appear and disappear, you actually teleport from cave to cave. So if I just turn my back on you for a second, you should be back. Okay. Question is, what else can I find? Yeah, if I just keep going further and further down for the time being, this is... Yeah, this isn't the same entrance I came in. It can't be. So, just keep following the path. Use my little boosters to travel a bit faster. Unidentified signal nearby. And locked on at that location over there. I'm guessing it's going to be the same rock. The same... Oh, no, it's not. It's going to be this. Escape pod 2, distress beacon. Unfortunately, I have no way of translating that. Uh, that we do have wiring going over here. Hello. This gives me a way in. Untranslated recording. Can we translate that? I need status reports for all systems. Initial things first. Is everyone unharmed? Okay. Ship log updated. So something bad happened to this planet and the Nomai therein. Just drop down. We've got ourselves an actual know my base here, including... Ooh, this looks important. Collision imminent. Prepare for impact. All right. So, potentially this is... Is this an old ship? I'm not sure. Can't translate that, by the way. And yeah, don't forget I've got my scout launcher if I need to scout ahead for some reason. The heat from this star system sun is more bearable below the surface... Oh, guys, you didn't blow up our sun because you were too warm, did you? Because that would be a real dick thing for you to have done. We found an enormous cavern at the end of this passage that appears promising. I believe we could construct a long-term shelter there. Okay. And the cavern is a wise choice for shelter. Could one of you mark directions for the others to follow? Beautiful. This is the start of the path for the shelter site. I've left directions to guide you. Right, so I should be able to just follow these symbols. We must hurry as the pathway there is filling with sand. Do not allow yourself to be buried by sand and make sure no one is lost. Right, so I need to get there fast enough before this place is actually buried in sand. Because, uh, yeah, eventually the whole thing will just be covered up. Emergency escape hatch. Right, check more if I can. Keep moving. Nothing of interest at the end of this passage but rocks. Right, so we can actually know which way to go by following these here signals. Do not follow this tunnel to its end. Coley's and I will examine the horror that lies at its terminus later. I don't want to do this. I truly don't. Do I want to? You know what? I'm just going to send the thing. Deploy that. What can you actually see, my good friend? Oh, there's... There's a big thing. Right, I think that's one of those bramble things. Okay. I'm kind of glad that I decided to send that down there. Now, no more distractions. Get to the shelter before it fills with sand and just use the instructions they've provided to make sure we actually find the right one. To reach the shelter site, walk forward until you meet the sandfall at the pit. Turn left. Continue to the room filled with rock column formations. Climb upward through the opening above them. So, okay. Sandfall, left, rock column formations, up. Okay, so sandfall... Then it take a left, and then it keep going until column formations, right, and then go upwards. All right, that, that I can do. So that gets me through here. Yeah, I wouldn't have noticed that if I hadn't been reading the instructions. Oh, this game does instructions and exploration right. Aha! Now just bring that round with the light. I've done it! I've found the shelter! Can I close the door behind me, by the way? Anglerfish fossil. Ah! Giant space anglerfish. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, then. We've got ourselves some dead people and some semi-working technology. Okay. This is cool. We'll just drop down through here, I guess. Oh! Whoa. Okay. The technology doesn't work that well. Be a bit on the careful side here. And also, the sun's going to explode at some point. Don't know when that's going to happen, but it might. Now, okay... Anglerfish Overlook District and Stepping Stone District. 
High Energy Lab Trailhead, and Eye Shrine. Okay, that seems important. Now I'm guessing... Right, what does that mean? And we've got... Ooh! Power! We need to restore power. How much power is there available, by the way? Oh, we don't have time to explore all of this. Bloody hell. Right, so, top up oxygen with trees. Um, which one's, which one was that again? That's Anglerfish Overlook District. Fine, so, maybe that's that over there. Okay, so if I depower it, I know I don't want to go there. So this one is Stepping Stone District. That's arguably less important too. What I need to know is High Energy Lab Trailheads. And this is... Hang on. Eye Shrine. Well, power that up. That seems kind of important. Right, we'll just go in that direction. Ah, that'll be the thing over there. It's filling up with sand. Right, I think I might have missed my opportunity to go and investigate that thing. Because it feels like, yeah, that's at the bottom. And it's already kind of being filled up with sand at this point. So, take me up, please. To the Eye Shrine District, apparently. So, okay. Keep on keeping on here. Upwards and onwards. Equip the scout launcher. Take a photo, please. And yeah, I'm aware there's, there's a lot of ghost matter around here. I'm not sure any of this is something I can interact with. So I may as well just naff off out of this whole area and nip down. See if I can actually do anything with, yeah, whatever's left of the lower areas. Though I suspect, suspect the sand is, oh yeah, the sand has got most of that filled up by now. Fine. So at this point, this whole area is entirely sanded up. So I cannot get to that secret lab. But that's sort of a good thing in some ways. Because now, what I need to do is, oh, what I need to do ideally is get out. How am I going to get out though? And should we build the sun station to power the Ash Twin project? And I almost can't comprehend this as being suggested seriously. The purpose of the Sun Station goes against every standard we hold ourselves to and everything we believe in as a species. Ah! Have you guys caused the bloody apocalypse? If we fail, and we probably will, then we'll destroy ourselves, all life here, and the rest of this star system. Right, so the precursors have ruined everything. Got it. But they decided to build it anyway, because it was the only way they could make the Ash Twin project operate. Which... I've got to assume is this whole sand transfer system. Right, one more door. There might be a way out here. Gravity cannon! Right, yes, we'll be using the gravity cannon. Oh, it's more bloody ghost matter, isn't it? Is this just what ghost matter... Yeah, I thought this might be what ghost matter looked like. Okay, well, obviously we're going to try and make it over to the flipping gravity cannon. Ah, we can't get to the gravity cannon either. I was kind of hoping that might be a useful way out. Still, bare minimum, what I need to do now is, yeah, escape and take my ship back over to Ash. Because at this point, oh, I'm going to die here, aren't I? Have I ever mentioned I'm somewhat claustrophobic, by the way? Because I am, and basically this is like an absolute total nightmare to me. So, alright, this is good. I'm just going to close my eyes and let this happen at this point. It's going to be great. Oh, you even get cracking and squishing noises. That's just lovely. And we're back. Something explodes because the interloper hit it. Possibly that, like, triggers the sun to explode. I don't flip in, no. Now I've actually died so many times. Do I have anything else to say to Slate, by the way? And you know this ship is a death trap, right? <laughs> Marvellous. So we've got Ash Twin slowly emptying, Ember Twin slowly filling up, a mysterious station, Brittle Hollow we haven't even been to yet, don't know anything about that, but that's another pair right there, Dark Bramble, which we know, yeah, has some form of link to Timber Half itself, just because of the scout I blasted into the mouth of that thing, there's a comet just kind of floating around, because screw it, why wouldn't there be a comet, there's a mysterious blob of light, Kind of want to go and just see the mysterious blob of light, to be honest. Yeah, there's an entire massive ocean planet. Don't know anything about that whatsoever. There's a lot here, and I like the way it's done. I need to go and see that bit of light, though. That little speck of light. We're going there. Whatever it is, it goes wibble, 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 and makes light go wibble around it. Which is interesting. 
Right, whatever that is, there's something I can lock on to. So, yeah, just actually match that thing's speed, please. Right, we've now got a match of speed on whatever this is. It kind of looks like a giant toothy fossil grabbing onto a bit of very familiar looking technology. Yeah, that's the sort of technology we've seen dotted about before. And it's just sort of close by to this thing. I'm just going to fly into the light thing. What are you and would you like to be friends if I flew into you? And... Ooh. It's like an anti-event horizon. It's making everything go... Oh, oh, I don't like it. It's making everything go wibble, wibble, wibble. Oh, it's making everything go weird. Including me. I should... Oh, don't forget to put your spacesuit on before you go out and meet it. Hello! Would you like to be friends? And... Into the terrifying ball we go! Tragedy, I don't think it wants to be friends. Also, where's my ship gone? Because everything's... Everything's got a bit weird, to be honest. Well, on the plus side, I've decided to just spacewalk over to this massive thing. Which is a thing that exists, and apparently it produces a very tiny amount of gravity. So I can just walk on it and- ooh! I can- oh, no, 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 no! No, we're going inside it now! This weird thing. Hello! Right, lights on. Lights on, I found a thing! And... And now it's going wibbly wibbly woo. And I found. I found trees. And I found gravity as well. Well, this is going much better than expected. Welcome to the White Hole Station. Aha! Marvelous! You can use this warp tower to return to Brittle Hollow. Ah, that's nice. This place is apparently a bit of a shortcut. Stand in the middle of the platform, look up, and wait. Now I'm here! Except, oh. Okay, minor problem, my ship is still in space. So my ship is now 14 kilometers in that direction, which is a bit of a concern. And I'm just on a new... I'm on a new planet that seems to be a bit shy and just sort of ceases to exist when I actually look at it. That's, that's maybe a bit on the concerning side. So yeah, this is that weird broken planet close by to the weird molten planet. So... Yeah, this thing's just doing its own thing over here as well. Now the planets are just floating around too. Ah, and it's all a bit on the snowy side. And also, I've still just got this weird thing I stole from White Hole Station. Don't really know what it does, but I've got it. And I think we've stumbled across the mystery of this location too. So, that glowy volcanic moon sometimes isn't there. Sometimes they see it. Sometimes it's just gone. So two planets feeding into each other, a volcanic moon that just sometimes goes away, and also seems to just basically toss lava into the planet. Okay, that's kind of cool. Hang on, hang on, hang on. We need to follow this lava down here. Keep going, keep going, keep going. And oh, there's... Right! There's, there's a big city just sort of falling apart down over there. Okay, this is... What the heck is this? Right, is that... Is that a black hole? If so, I probably shouldn't actually fall into it. But now I'm just sort of curious. And... Okay. Where am I? Ah! The white hole! Is that how those things work? So in conclusion, we've got ourselves a home planet that's currently being infested by a giant terrifying plant the planet of the giant terrifying plants, a white hole that's paired with a black hole that's being orbited by a lava moon which sometimes isn't there, and an ash plant and an ember planet that are slowly swapping mass for reasons that aren't entirely clear. And we haven't even bothered having a Luxy into the ocean planet which has got a Kraken on it. So, uh, yeah, this is some interesting bloody stuff right here. But you know what, ladies and gentlemen, I think you get the point. This here is the Outer Wilds and... Uh, I am impressed. I am really impressed because this is how you should do exploration and sci-fi. It's big and it's wondrous and it doesn't hold your hand. It just says, here's a bunch of stuff. Go explore. And I admire that. I admire that a lot. I could be tempted to turn this into a mini-series. I could be very tempted to give this a bit more of a look-see. We'll have to see because I'd also like to finish off a Plague Tale Innocence at some point. So there's a bunch of stuff I'd like to actually finish. But yeah, some really impressive stuff here. Really impressive indeed. 
I could be very tempted to bring this back as a little mini series, maybe as a live stream. There's plenty of downtime where you're just flying through space. I could make a good live stream. We'll see. I'll have a think about it, ladies and gentlemen. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd, and this has been the Outer Wilds. Thank you very much, and goodbye. This here, this is the face of death, okay? This is what my sudden death looks like. Do not engage before we arrive. Do not engage. What are you doing? I specifically said don't. Oh, no. No, John. <laughs> oh, he likes that. <laughs> the Romans touched me. <laughs>